Hi, have you ever had a thought? Of course you do, we all do, we have them every day. But have you ever had a stupid thought that sorta of made sense, or it didn't, but it made you think? No? Well then you're probably not mentally ill like me. But those of you that are that said yes, then this video is dedicated to you. This video is about all the stupid thoughts that I have in my brain that either make sense, don't make sense, or will just make you sit there and wonder. What's reality? What was she talking about? Was she right? Have I just been blind to it all along? Am I oblivious? So yeah, these are those type of questions. They'll make you think, they'll make you ponder, they'll make you wonder. Will they ever make sense? By the way, I should state, these aren't just questions. They're also like just random thoughts I have. So like, here's my random thoughts, questions video. I guess, I don't know. First question. Is the Kool-Aid man the Kool-Aid or the pitcher? If he's the Kool-Aid, can you switch out the drink? If you switch it out with lemonade, would that make him the lemonade man? Or let's say the milkman or the water man? What is he? Car. The most useless thing in SpongeBob is a dryer. Now, I know what you may be thinking, but there's fire, there's electricity. But think about this. Not electricity, not fire. They're underwater with a dryer. And it's gonna dry nothing. So why did SpongeBob have an episode where he shrunk his pants in the dryer? If it can't dry anything, it makes no sense. For those of you that used to love eating Trix yogurt, or still do, because it's back, well, it's never been gone. Trix yogurt has always been here. The cotton candy flavor, the strawberry flavor, it's just in gogurt form without the dual colors. So it's just now a gogurt, or it's just a regular Trix yogurt, but Trix is now back, but it was never gone. You can never say yes honestly to the question, are you sleeping? And you can never say no honestly to the question, are you awake? Are we living or just slowly dying? Disney, please don't sue me. Why is Goofy considered a person when Pluto's considered a pet when they're both dogs? What sense does that make? Why do we call it a hamburger if it's made from a cow? Ham, pig, cow beef, hamburger, what? This one's kind of dark. When Peppa Pig visits a zoo, is that considered a concentration camp? But for animals. Is she still Hello Kitty if she says goodbye? You know the phrase, oh, I'll be back after dark? Well, why is it called after dark if it's really just after the light? We came up with such creative names for fruits, like an apple, a kiwi, raspberry, etc but we were so uncreative with orange, blackberry, blueberry. And that leads me into my next segue. Why is it called a strawberry? It's neither a straw nor a berry. Yeah, fun fact, strawberries aren't actually berries. Look it up. Why is it called midnight if it's technically the morning? Like it's AM. How is Mickey Mouse considered a mouse if he's as big as a rat? Shout out to Markiplier and Unas Anas if you guys get that reference. Phrases that can mean the same thing can also mean something completely different. Like imagine saying, my bad, instead of saying sorry at a funeral. And this is the very last one of them all. Why are you still wasting your time watching this video? I just wasted a good couple minutes of your life that you could have been doing anything else. Could have thrown in some laundry, could have did some cleaning, could have got some work, homework, anything done. But instead you sit here, listen to me babble about the most useless and stupid questions. You just wasted your time, or maybe you didn't. Maybe it's closure for you, and maybe I just made your anxiety worse. But thanks for listening to my stupid thoughts, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!